Thanks, Riaz. Good morning. For the second time in less than a week, homicide investigators are working on a case in Surrey. Greg Harper joins us from the scene with the very latest. Greg? Morning, Jody. For the people who live here on 132nd Street in Surrey, uh, they are waking up uh, to this to find the area that they live in is surrounded by police tape. The road here is closed for about half a block, and the investigation is taking place right there inside that blue home. It is here where Police were called late last night. When they arrived, they found a man had been stabbed multiple times. He ended up dying from his injuries. One man has been taken into custody. For uh, the number of people we've talked to who live right across from where this happened, they are obviously shaken by what has happened here. It's really scary because one thing we couldn't sleep at night. Because we were, th we were just thinking, you know, this is just, we don't know what's happening. Like. You never know. You don't know who is your neighbor is. Stabbing, like killing, like that is no good. You know. The integrated homicide investigation team says it will be releasing more information this morning. When that happens, we will certainly bring that to you. Jody. Thank you, Greg. Greg Harper reporting this morning. The search continues for a suspect in Monday's homicide at a townhouse in Cloverdale. Police found a stolen SUV they think Barry McQuarrie might have been driving. It was found torched at an industrial complex in South Surrey with the license plates switched. Investigators think the 33-year-old is now in hiding. He's suspected in the shooting death of a 32-year-old man identified as Gregory Quinnell. Exactly what lies in the mind of the person who, who did that. Uh, and, and why they burned the vehicle. I have my own speculations. Uh, of course, uh, people who commit crime don't want to be caught. Police are still warning the public about Macquarie, saying he's likely armed and dangerous and should not be approached. Investigators think the shooting resulted from a domestic dispute of some sort. Four people are in hospital with severe burns after a bonfire explosion in Burnaby last night. Two men and two women had been sitting around a fire pit at a home on 12th Avenue near Fenwick Street when one of them poured oil or gas into the flames. Two of them were taken to Royal Columbian Hospital in New Westminster. Two others were transported to Vancouver General. All of them are listed in stable condition. Police have released images of the suspects they're looking for in a pair of recent sexual assaults. One of the attacks happened in broad daylight. A young woman was attacked at 5.30 Monday afternoon in Vancouver at West 37th Avenue and Canby Street. She was grabbed from behind and thrown into some bushes where she was assaulted. It's a busy area at that time of day. Police are looking for witnesses, including a woman waiting for the bus who may have seen something. The victim is, is physically doing okay. She, uh, she was extremely traumatized by this. When our officers spoke with her, uh, she was shaking quite, quite badly and visibly. Um, she did an excellent job, though, in, in talking with our investigators. She was able to provide us with some, some really good details. The suspect is about 25 years old, 5 feet 8, with a medium build and light-colored eyes. He was wearing a red baseball cap, navy blue jacket, and baggy jeans. There were a series of sex attacks along Camby last year. Police aren't sure if the new incident is related. Coquitlam RCMP are looking for a man who sexually assaulted a woman on Como Lake Avenue near Westwood Street. The attack happened the night of May 1st. It's believed the suspect followed the victim off a bus. The man is in his early 20s, 5 feet 7, with dark hair and dark complexion. Langley RCMP are trying to figure out who apparently stole not one, but six dogs. These canines were taken Tuesday afternoon from a truck parked at the Brookswood Dog Park on 206th Street. A dog walker put them in the back of the pickup's canopy while she used the washroom. When she came back, they were gone. The dog walker and the animal's owners have been scouring the area ever since. Another cautionary tale for pet owners. Kelowna SPCA responded to a pair of dogs locked in a hot vehicle covering the SUV with blankets to block the sun. The organization says it only takes 15 minutes for some dogs to suffer heat stroke. It was just over 20 degrees outside, but a temperature gauge showed it was well over 30 inside the vehicle. The driver eventually showed up. She was issued a warning and could still face a fine.